Hi everyone, it's Nancy here and I am back with my first video for my Hey Little Magpie blog post this month. And this month, as you've seen in my paper selection video, I am tackling bright and bold papers. Um, so that is what I am going to be doing um, for these series of videos and they will be up on my channel over the course um, of this week. Of course you can go to the Hey Little Magpie blog and check out photos of the layouts before them. So I've started off with this photo, it is roughly about a 5 by 7 I think, um, and I'm just using that um, My Mind's Eye paper, and I decide to then use this Creative Agenda paper for my background. Um, I pulled some bits from 6 by 6 pads I've got, which are the Kelly Perky and also the um, Chamel, completely forgot what it's called them. So I've got that gold star which I'm matting my photo on and I decide that this background paper is not busy enough. Um, I do love to make it even more busier and add some texture and layers to the page but without adding any bulk. So I take out my favourite brayers which are the American Craft polka dot one, that's my favourite one. And I've just used some of the turquoise hero arts and now I'm taking a stencil which has got stars on and I'm just using some distress ink there to rub through and as you saw I marked out where my photo was going to be and I know sort of roughly where I'm going to cluster things so it's just a case of just building up some texture around that. As I said, this will be quite subtle um, if you just leave it like this. Um, I do then decide to make it a bit bolder. So I'm going to, I've just pulled some gold embossing powder there. And I am going to use some of that and I'm just putting some turquoise stars around it as well. And I really love this paper. Um, as I said in my paper share, you could just use it to cut out the words and use that, you know, for multiple backgrounds. I think that, um, you know, elements, I think it would look really cool. So, I really like um, how this is looking so far. And now I'm currently rooting around for my verse mark ink, completely forgetting that actually with the distress inks, you can also put embossing powder on them. So of course when I tip embossing powder on, it sticks to more than just the um, the Versamark that I put down, which was a little bit silly of me, but hey ho. Um, and I managed to get it absolutely everywhere. I was sparkling, the carpet was sparkling, it was ridiculous. Um, I tried to get most of it up with the baby wipe, but... I end up absolutely covered in glitter, so that maybe was not the best thing to do. So I'm just cleaning up my desk there because I don't want to get it everywhere. And I'm now just going to use my heat gun. And then this is a gold glitter embossing powder, so as I dry it, as you can see there, it's got a nice sheen. Um, I did just cut out the video there so you didn't have to watch me um, emboss everything. And I really like how that looks, it really picks out the gold that's around that photo as well. Um, I decided to do quite simple layering on here, I don't want to cover up too much of that background. Um, I've got the You and Me which is a cut apart piece from the 6x6 paper pad by Chamel. And then I'm looking for some other bits I've got. Uh, there's this one again that says Lovely. And I'm now going to look through the Project Life cards as well. And again, I'm mainly looking at colour here. Um, I'm just going through, seeing if I can find. I really like these cards. I prefer these cards to the paper pads, um, the papers, embellishments, everything. I really like these Project Life cards. Um, the embossing on them is beautiful. So I decided to cut off that wonderful, which is um, in gold, gold foil. And then that's one of the embossed hearts. And I'm just creating some really simplistic layers here. 
um, I'm not going too over the top with my layers so I wanted to make this quite a simple layout um, there is lots of other um, layouts which feature photos from this day um, of me and my boyfriend um, out for his birthday so I'm not too worried about having like places to journal and stuff because I know that actually there's going to be a lot more um, journaling so I'm just sticking everything down this was a super quick layout it took me about 30 minutes but I really liked it and actually I think with the busy background you don't need to then add too much um, layering on top I love my layering but yeah you don't actually need too much on here so I've now pulled out a few other bits here and these are um, some little word strips and I can't remember what paper collection they're from it completely escapes me um, but I've used them in some other videos as well so I'm just cutting those out and they say words like love um, and things like that so I think they say true love I think I end up putting down or something and then you've got like definitions as well so I add those and I'm just starting to add a little bit of detail but I don't go too fussy I want to use this other gold piece of card and I decide it's actually going to be really perfect to do a little bit of journaling on um, but only kind of like the bare kind of facts um, and because there's no way I could journal um, on this piece of paper at all because it's just too busy so I then got the Chamel stickers here and looking at which ones of those I can use and pulling out some of the hearts so even though that background paper is not the Chamel collection, it actually works quite well. Again, I use one of the gold stickers here then just to bring some gold up to the top. And the gold works really well with all the bright colours. Remembering I have got gold embossing in the background. Apologies there guys, my computer all froze and I couldn't see what I was doing and what was going on. Um, so I pulled out one of the stickers that says happiness um, and that again is from the Chamel and it just fills in that kind of strange little gap I had there and then I've also as I say, pulled out some hearts from that um, sticker collection as well. Um, I have these from Gossamer Blue and there's a little um, flare that says it's like got H and it says happy and I really like the yellow colour it works, picks up the yellow from that um, Kelly Perky paper and then I'm pulling out some of these Chamel stickers um, and just adding some kind of appropriate words around um, I am aware that I am kind of mixing cream based and white based here and I'm not too worried I'm just going to move that um, gold card in a little bit because um, I decide I want to cut this down so I'm just cutting a little fishtail banner in one of those word pieces and I decide that I need to mount this layout because there's just way too much going on so I find just adding a small border just helps you know to calm everything down so I am just going to use a piece of blue and then that's going to pick up you know the blue that I've got around the photo as well and tie everything in together so as I said this was a really quick simple layout um, on how to use um, a heavily you know bright paper in the background um, basically by adding loads of other pattern over it and in doing that I always find it kind of then sends the bright colours to the background more you know like in Photoshop when you kind of send the layer backwards it kind of does that to me so really enjoyed this layout i will be back with some more so thank you very much guys and i'll see you all again soon bye